What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last part, we basically uh, did we did the uh, we did World 3. This part we're gonna do World 4. Now, uh, if you had the hammer from early in World 3, you can just like go into this Toad House, get a guaranteed Tanuki suit. I don't find it worth it because it, there are better ways to get a Tanuki suit Tanuki suits later on in the game. But yeah, if you go into that Toad House with the hammer, it's a guaranteed Tanuki suit. Now, uh, I want to fly up and get a secret. Except not quite what I want. Yeah, you want to fly up and, uh, you kind of want to swim up this, uh, platform. Swim up this waterfall. Except we get hit by a fireball. You want to go to this platform- you want to go to this pipe on the far left. Except there'll be Big Bertha. Don't worry, they, don't, they won't eat you. Big brothers that are underwater, they won't eat you. Get this one up. And we, got, we have 80 lives right now. Now uh, let's just uh, get out of here, because I still want to get that power up that's over there. Oh shit, no! Because a disadvantage about Mario 3, if you click a third stage power up, if you had a, uh, if you had a, uh, belief you can bounce on these Koopas repeatedly and one up farm, we can't right now. I might be able to get to 99 lives had I done that. We're probably gonna get to 99 lives at some point. We already have 80 lives and it's like roll 4. Alright, so 4-2. This is the, uh, this is another one of these stages you can get the White Toad House in. I think this is the last of the stages that can actually succeed in getting the White Toad Houses. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. No. My luck runs out. Alright, so you kind of want to wait until, like, the platform's above... Yeah, like that. Except, no, I fucked it up. Yeah, I fucked up the white toad house. I mean, you would've gotten another anchor had, you, had I done that. I did that in the practice playthrough. I don't like the idea of going into 4-3 of small Mario, so I think I'm gonna use a power-up. Yeah, we have 85 lives. I think we're getting the, uh, Toad House. Give me a Mushroom! I don't like get it. I always get I feel like when I have, like, the worst luck, I always get Mushrooms in these. Let's, uh... Ansel use... Let's just use a Fire Flower, because I got an idea. Yeah, so much for that idea. I was gonna instant kill it, the Fire Flower. Those are the big Hammer Brothers. They basically, uh... They basically, if they stomp, like, you'll be stunned for a period of time if you're on the ground. They also do the same for some of the later Koopalings. And I died! <laughs> That's actually my first death, and it's in World 4. Alright, we're going to, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna... Wiggly Stomps. Jump. We get a Cloud, which helps us skip levels. Very helpful if you're, doing, if you're not doing a completionist run, though unfortunately we're doing 100%, so, uh... Let's just use a star. Unfortunately, I can't because I can't. I don't hear the game. I can't hear the game audio because I have the TV muted. I can't really tell when these power ups run out. That was the same. That was actually this was the spot I died on. It's easier with the, uh, flower. It's easier with the leaves than it is with the flower. And I get a one up, so it kind of makes up the one we lost on this level. Mm. 
Right. And not a speedrunner at all. Like, uh, I definitely can't, like... Because, like, they're... Because, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like, Sunny and Salt. I was, like, a big fan of, like, the Mario... Th the, uh, all three of his Mario 3 videos. Like, especially the 100%. Like, imagine if you were 100%, like, you have to all the levels. Because, like, uh, Mario 3 seems like a bitch to speedrun because, like, uh... There's ha you have to ha rely on like ha good Hammer Brother RNG, and there's like an area in World Eight we'll get to later that like kills a lot of runs, and I could not like uh, I could not for the life of me. All right, unfortunately we lost the we lost the leaf though. Can we get another leaf? We get a leaf back. And boom boom. See, let's test our slot skill or lack of slot skills again. So uh let's just um No, we're not gonna we're never gonna get the slot game. So maybe we even have 85 lives because I know of one up farming methods. Oh shit, I think there's another stage where like if you use a frog suit, like you can go into like another secret area. Oh shit, enter this in the frog suit. Because we have like four of those. Sometimes with water levels you wanna like swim like hell and just get out of them as fast as possible. No, no. Alright, good. Can we get three mushrooms? I think we can get three mushrooms. I'm gonna no, I'm not, I'm I'm talking out of my ass. I'm gonna screw that up. I'm gonna fuck that up and get a star or a flower. All right, here we go. Jump on his ass and get a star. If you want to use a star, you might as well use it on the uh, boomerang. You might as well use it on the Hammer Brothers because that way, uh, that way, you basically insta kill them. I think it's this level you can get in a Tanuki suit in. I mean, the thing, yeah, I'm thinking of this level. I guess we'll see our first appearance in the Tanuki suit. Which, uh, if you've played Super Mario 3D Land, really any, or 3D World, you should know the Tanuki suit, or if you even played this game. However, the Tanuki suit is phenomenal in this game because, uh, it lets you turn into a statue. If you hit down and be turned into a statue, and it protects you from enemies. Like that. I would've gotten hit there, but I could protect myself from enemies. Alright, let's get three star- let's get three mushrooms. Mushrooms! <laughs> 87 lives. Alright, let's test our slot skills. Or lack thereof. Let's test our lack thereof slot skills. Can I get it this time? 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 No. I just have a mushroom with legs. Uh, there's a card, but I'm not gonna go back and get that. Anyway, so, uh... We go, uh... I like to, um... This level is kind of, is kind of a gimmick. Except we lose the Tanuki suit! This level is kind of a gimmick. You basically turn the enemies from big to small. I just like to do it on the second half. Let's do our good luck charm. 
Give me a star. All right, this house I think is also a guaranteed Tanuki suit, but I could be wrong. All right, we have our fourth inventory slot. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed Tanuki suit. Fluffers time, so uh Okay, this one's kind of an annoying jump. This one's got kind of an annoying jump. You kinda wanna bounce off that except we fucked up the jump! <laughs> yeah, that's the uh that's the that's the bad jump. Let's just uh use a leaf. I don't want a P wing just yet. We're gonna need those for later. Yeah, look at how easy it look at how easier it is with the uh leaf. Yeah, that you can go in that room for a secret, but I believe it takes too much time, so uh but since we already have to beat this game in one sitting, we're actually I think I've been recording for maybe fifty minutes, maybe an hour. Wow, I've never seen Boom Boom jump in a, like actual a long time. I wish you died, Boom Boom. Okay, if we had died to Boom Boom, that would have been fucking sad. I don't think I've ever seen Boom Boom last that long in like actual years. Let's try a little uh, gimmick. Let's do the four airship with the frog suit. We're gonna do the frog suit. We're gonna do it this time. I never. Not what I've tried it many times. I think only once have I done the uh, any of the air suits with the frog suit. I think it was the World 3 1. I think it was only one time I've ever done it with the frog suit. I've done it several times with the Janugi suit. I don't think with the hammer blow suit though, because I don't usually try it. And it also doesn't help that these are auto scrolling levels. We're gonna do this with the frog suit. <laughs> I probably should not say that. We're gonna get hit, like, with, like, uh, eventually. We might even get hit on the Koopaling. The Koopaling boss right here is, uh, is actually Iggy. He's based off another musician. He's based off of Iggy Pop. Great singer. I definitely love, uh, I do like Iggy Pop, both his solo work and with the Stooges. The Stooges like a, it's like a, the Stooges like um, let's just say are like one of like the pioneers of punk punk rock. So basically like uh, and like interestingly enough like uh, their uh, their uh, debut album was produced by uh John Cale who was of the Velvet Underground. So like yeah, he definitely had like good taste when it came to producing. I'm surprised I've lasted this long with the Frog Suit. My luck's going to run out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. My luck is going to run out. Let's see if I can make that jump. I can't. Yeah, we lost the frog suit. Thankfully, there is a. this is the only airship where there's a power-up for the boss. We're actually almost out of time because of how long we took. And this is Iggy. He's basically not much different than Larry. I think he jumps higher, but that's it. And there's a different layout. So yeah, that's World 4 taken care of. And the king kind of looks more like Egyptian, which I like. 
And now we get another P Wang. How many P Wings do we have? We have uh one, two, we have five P Wings. So um we're gonna get off this farm Super Mario Bros. 3. So next time Super Mario Bros. 3, we're gonna do World 5. Not one of my favorite worlds. See you guys next time.